Okay, so this is not something I've been doing recently, and I've been I was just wanting to kind of talk about this because there's a lot of kind of bad reviews for this movie. Uh, I wanted to talk about Suicide Squad and basically just what I thought about it. Um, Suicide Squad was very like not really a movie for criticism. I mean, yeah, every movie's open to criticism, and it's a work of art, it's supposed to be for criticism, but it's not really a movie that you're really supposed to really be taking too seriously, really. I mean, I want I would lump it in with, like, Guardians of the Galaxy and Deadpool, and both of those movies, yeah, they're done better, and they're actually better movies, but it's just like... You, you wouldn't really compare it to things like Captain America and Batman vs. Superman and Iron Man movies, because those movies have a lot more structure, and it's just like, it's not really like a critical movie. Like, I, this is the whole thing that like I was talking to my sister about, is like, when coming out of that movie, it's not really like a movie that you want to take seriously. It's not supposed to be, like, a serious movie that you're supposed to look at. She, her biggest problem with it was the, um, the pacing and, uh, how it's just not really well put together, and it's just like, ah, uh, I don't know, it's kind of not supposed to be. <laughs> it's not really, like, a magnum opus or a uh, Citizen Kane or anything like that. It's supposed to be just a goofy movie. I mean, when you look at Deadpool, Deadpool's a very goofy movie that honestly, critically, is not that good of a movie. It's not a... my cat. It's not a movie that's supposed to be taken seriously. <laughs> so you don't really take too much of the critic reviews too seriously of Deadpool. Everybody, the audience loved Deadpool and there's not really... I mean, there's not really too much of a... Uh, critic backlash against Deadpool, but Deadpool, when you look at Deadpool, Deadpool is not a critical hit. It's just kind of a fun movie, and it doesn't really seem like Suicide Squad is being treated like that. It seems like people are reviewing it as if it was a serious movie, and I, you know, I thought it was just a fun fucking movie, and of course, all, like, all the uh, Joker, Harley Quinn stuff aside... Like, them as a relationship. Like, not not talking about that. Because, I mean, that's... Everybody's got their own opinion on that. But when I look at the actual movie itself, the movie is very harmless. Um, I really liked that they advertised that the Joker was going to be a huge part. But then Enchantress was actually the lead villain. Like, when you think about who was in the Suicide Squad, Enchantress was one of them. Like, that's the way they did it. They made it to where Enchantress was one of the Suicide Squad that was supposed to be, like, helping them. And for the first part of the movie, she was, and then suddenly, just, she became the bad guy. And I, and I love that about the movie, and I, and I do love how fun the movie is. And I just, I don't get, I don't get, I, I mean, I get a lot of the hate, there's a, there's a lot of the hate, but there seems to be a lot of hate towards Jared Leto himself, and not really towards too much of the movie. This movie had a huge backlash. Uh, I can't... Honestly, if you were to actually compare it to Batman vs. Superman, it's a superior movie. <laughs> Batman vs. Superman was awful. I was forced in to go see that, and I had an awful time. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that I was forced in to go see it. If I were to see it willingly probably would have thought a little better of it and again it's a fun movie but like it's supposed to be the movie that has the structure and that movie lacks so much structure anyway that's really what i have to say suicide squad better movie than what some people are saying it's not not the best movie not even really necessarily a good movie it's a decent fun movie like that's just what i have to say about it